Dutchy, uh, Nathan Burns has arrived. Um, first impressions? Uh, yeah, look great. Um, obviously, uh, you know, it's going to take him a little bit of time to adjust. You know, he's, um, his, his actual fitness is good, but his uh, match fitness is no good. So we need to get some games into him and all good. So will he play this week? He'll feature a bit in the, in the uh, trial? Won't go to Canberra, but um, hopefully against Wellington. Yep. Okay. Do you see him as a like for like for Ryan Griffiths? Uh, look, he's a little, it, it's a little bit different. Um, <coughs> uh, obviously, um, Ryan was, was probably more left and, and he's, he's probably a bit more right. But uh, again, it's a, it's a player who's going to go past players. Um, you know, he can play as a nine if he wants. Uh, you know, he, just feel that we're going to get a lot of uh, good running off the ball with, with him as well. So um, from the front third perspective, you could probably say that, but it's not exactly the same exactly the same type of player. Well, you've been trying to get him for a while now. I think it's about your third or fourth or tenth. What, what is it about him that you like so much? I love people who go past players, you know, and he's he's one who goes past players and he can score goals. He can score goals from dribbling and, and, and he's both feet in regards to finishing. He can set people up and, uh, you know, he can score one, t one, one touch finishes. So, you know, he has a lot going on in his, uh, on his game. And uh, he's come back with a real point to prove, so... From my, my point of view, it's, it's ideal. And when you said you've got a lot of games in him, will, will it be... Uh, is, is he right to go a whole game, for instance, on, on Saturday? Or has he been playing reserve football? Or has he's, he been... Yeah, look, we'll, we'll take it easy with him. You know, he'll, he'll get 45 minutes. Hopefully uh, come... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> um, uh, Saturday. And then uh, we'll build him up from there. I mean, how, how do you fit in the fact that you've only got him until January? I mean, does that make a, a difficult proposition? Or, or, or to prepare the team around him coming towards that? Uh, again, you know, rely heavily on him. And then I think it, you know it's the old cliche: it's one match at a time, and we'll see how things are going by the time we get to January. And as you know, uh, a week is a long time in football, so we've got a number of months before we get to that stage. So we'll see how things are trans transpiring till then, and then we'll, we'll sort of go from there. Are there. Is there a chance though, that we get to keep him longer? You never know. Um, we'll see how things go, and uh, if uh, it all works out, then fantastic. If not, well, you know we've. Had the, uh, the benefit of, of, of someone like Nathan in that first part of the season. Will Emil play this week? No, Emil won't play till uh, after the break, and then um, once he's he comes back, he'll he'll get built up with uh, with games as well. Got you. Who won't be available for Wellington? Um, well, Emil obviously yeah. uh, he won't be one. Uh, Brownie, Connor has got a slight strain in his calf, so he might, he may be doubtful, and Bridgie's got the same. Um, but other than the, the, the ones who are long term, so i.e. Joshua Mitchell, Brownie and, uh, and, and Coops, they won't be available for Wellington. And not too sure about Joey Gibbs, just have to wait and see in that one.